Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Lori and today we're going to make avocado chocolate pudding. Super simple, just a few ingredients. These avocados were in the freezer. We bought too many one time, so what we did was we chopped them up, put them in the freezer. I think it's about three cups. I'm not quite sure how many avocados exactly, um, but whatever amount you think would be right for you, this is the kind of recipe where you can just sort of play with the ingredients and make it to your taste. Okay, so we're gonna get ready to put this in the food processor here. So I like this one, this, this cashew almond uh, blend, and it has a um, basically a vanilla type of uh, flavoring, but it's un you know unsweetened. So we're gonna start with half a cup. I'll put all the description in the description box, I'll put all of the ingredients that I'm using. So we're gonna pour that in. I'm gonna do a splash of vanilla. I'll measure it. Let's do that. Let's do one teaspoon of vanilla. I'm going to do a dash of salt. And this is a Monkford sweetener that I've been trying. Um, it is with erythritol. So I'll do a little bit of that and a little bit of maple syrup. So um, giving this a go. Let's see, I'm gonna just pour, um, this is a quarter of a cup of that. Chad, he just ran away. New puppy. All right, so we're gonna get ready. We're gonna food process this. Blended the avocados a little bit and now added the half a cup of cacao powder and we're gonna blend it up again. All right, so let's take a look at what we've got here so far. Looking pretty chocolatey. Okay, so I did the, the monk fruit type of sweetener. Some people like stevia. I'm just trying to experiment with just trying to decrease the you know, sugar contents a little bit. Not saying that it's something I'm always a fan of, but you know, sometimes it's worth trying. You know what, drop me some comments and let me know about what you think about sweeteners, like uh, you know, erythritol, the monk fruit. Um, you know, I don't necessarily care for the stevia aftertaste, but maybe it's something I need to retry. And I typically tend to prefer with sticking with just something all natural, like maple syrup. Um, so that's about a quarter of a cup. And I think that should be all that I would need. That should be plenty. But the avocados definitely need something with just avocado and cacao. You need a little bit of, a little bit of extra. All right, blend it up some more. There's like still some tiny little chunks of avocado that perhaps you can see really want it smooth you kind of don't want to get that unexpectedly so i'd say you got a food process for a good couple of minutes and uh yeah see i think you can see some of these these like little chunks you want them all blended all right we're gonna give a few more minutes so the avocados the cacao powder the whatever kind of plant milk you like and um, some whatever sweetener of your type. And so uh, again, I'll put the, what I use, the monk fruit and a bit of maple syrup. I'll put that all in the description box. A little dash of salt, vanilla. It's really tasting good. I just did a little sneak taste test, but I think the trick is to make sure you blend it well enough so that the avocados aren't like little pieces in there. Um, so we'll give it a few more minutes and then um, chill it and I will enjoy this after dinner. So avocados with their healthy fats, nice thing to fill you up. This might be like nice at a lunchtime, but I probably wouldn't eat like guacamole and avocados in the same day. Like that's a lot of avocado, even though it's really good and healthy fats are definitely a little bit higher in calories. Um, so just, you know, keeping that balance, but with the cacao powder, ooh, so good. Okay, so we're gonna pour it in. 
This is like the best one ever. This tastes so good. All the combinations were just spot on. Um, and again, like you could add cinnamon, you can top it with whatever, but we'll come back and look at it after it's chilled a bit, but it is delicious. I'm trying to make this look super pretty. I don't know if I'm doing it justice. All right, so we're talking about cacao powder here, and cacao is is definitely less processed than cocoa. Now, you could certainly use either one that you would like. I did use cacao. I, I will just say that if, if you are sensitive to caffeine, which I did not think I was, uh, but apparently sometimes I think I am, at nighttime at least, I, I try to do watch, um, you know, kind of your intake of it, like later in the day. So like, to me, this is like kind of like a mid-afternoon, like maybe after lunch, looking for something sweet. Okay, the avocado chocolate pudding. Oh my gosh, we'll come back for the taste test a little bit later. I'm gonna be a good girl and eat dinner first. Okay, so it's been chilling for a while and it is looking so good. Let's give it the taste test. Oh my gosh, this is so creamy and super sweet and delicious. I'm gonna do a little bit of toppings here. Let's take a look, right, Kels? So we'll take a look and top it. All right, so I'm gonna do some cacao nibs. Mm. They give a little bit of a crunch. So an ounce of cacao nibs gives you some protein and um, let's see, it is 12 grams of fat and 130 calories. So we're just doing a little little couple bites, but there's a lot of vitamins, minerals, and antioxidants. And so we're gonna put some nice little raspberries on there. And let's do some shredded coconut. This is so delicious. I'm so glad to have this little like nice treat. This is like a perfect little mid-afternoon snack. Mm. The raspberries complete it. Thanks so much for watching. Can't wait to hear about your comments, whether you liked it, tried it, and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thanks for watching. All right, so we're gonna blend this up. 